people don't really understand what's going on. Um, we've, we, we, we've been standing here for a couple of times now and, and some people ev don't even know where Lebanon is. Some people don't even know what's going on. Loads of people know and just don't care. They really don't, don't care at all. And, 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 and that really saddens me. That really breaks my heart to see that the, the people just continue with doing their shopping and, 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 and continue living their lives while, while people are being, are, are being massacred and just murdered in the Middle East. Hang on a second. I come from Ireland. I know what's about. Sorry, I know what to my know what family fled no, Ireland I after I the potato town. I come from a town run by the IRA. I know what it's about. You don't. That's the thing. You are blinded no, to the reality. I know that you fight Just back against Israel. Israel would never be beaten. Excuse me. Basically, if you want to, if you want to view it, Israel is totally at fault. Israel has basically stolen all the Palestinian lands. Okay, that's fine. Israel is never going to go away. Israel does not care if we complain about them killing Lebanese children. It doesn't actually care. Israel looks after itself. What the Lebanese have to do, or what the Arab world has to do, is actually make peace with Israel. You will never defeat them. I, yeah, I just want to show you this one. Yeah. Shall I speak or...? <laughs> yeah, I just want to say that Today we're here in uh, Princess Street, so I am Lebanese and my friends are Lebanese also. And it's only to, to back uh, peace in Lebanon and in the Middle East. We are against what is happening nowadays and against what Israel is doing. And uh, what is happening nowadays it is uh, against any religions. That's why we are signing uh, with all these people to say that no for war. Yesterday, yesterday, they have destroyed bridges yeah. in the Christian area. Yeah. I no. do live in the Christian yes. area. Yeah. We don't want the war. If you yeah. are Catholic, I am also. No. Okay, I don't know. That. We are not speaking the, about religion. I'm telling you why Israel came Israel, yesterday and destroyed the bridges next is, to our house. Israel doesn't care. What, uh, the no, Israel doesn't care. So yes, no, 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 there's no point blaming. There's no point. Doesn't mean the innocent. You want peace. There's no, want peace there's no point blaming Israel. Okay, I'm, Israel, I'm Israel. No, hold on. Well, let me finish. You want to live in no, peace. Yeah. You're there's telling no, me they don't want. So no, they're there's destroying no, there's us. No point in blame, there's no point in yeah. blaming Why, Israel who, who blame? because. You, you blame the Israelis for killing the people. I blame for the Israelis. I blame, but, they, they, they I blame everybody. But you blame everybody. Blame yes, the two sides. The two sides right? I want yeah. peace. Yes. I want to live yeah. in peace. Yeah. How? What, the only... We are co we are co uh, caught in the middle. How can we yes. now stop the war? Please yeah. find a solution. For it's us. not easy. It's not easy. people like the Scottish people who are standing over there um, I, I just really admire them for their um, for their humanity for just for, for sticking with the felt with their fellow human beings even though they've got no connection with them whatsoever no um, um, no religious similarities no cultural similarities but still they, they care about them just because they are humans but in recent weeks since the bombing of Lebanon all the all the major campaigns in Edinburgh, the Palestine Solidarity Campaign, Women in Black, who stand in vigil every week for the Palestine and 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 for Iraq as well, uh, and the Stop the War Coalition and, and other groups as well, uh, are here every week for the whole afternoon protesting about Israeli war crimes and and, and also what's happening all over the Middle East. So obviously, what happened uh, in, during the war in the Holocaust? Discussed that, right? Yeah. Right. So that doesn't actually provide an excuse. We, we've been campaigning, um, you know, as a coalition, sort of the war coalition, as a Palestine Solidarity campaign, um, since I think September the 13th, uh, 2001. Um, and obviously, you know, we've been going through highs and lows in terms of public interest and in what we are doing. But we've more or less been, been on the streets, uh, at least on a weekly basis, ever since then. 
almost every every Saturday we've been we've been on the streets of Edinburgh. And in the meantime, we're building a demonstration, a national demonstration in Edinburgh uh, next week. So that's the next big event. We're hoping it'll be very big and well attended. I decided to go watch the organisational meeting for the protest at a local church in Edinburgh. I was actually chairing this meeting. Um, this is a meeting with uh, different uh, Scottish campaigning groups, Stop the War, Palestine Solidarity Campaign, uh, CND, many different groups and individuals as well. Uh, that have come to discuss how we organise um, protests against our government uh, and the, the Israeli government. So and there's a lot of people who have just come along because of the current uh, situation, uh, people who don't consider themselves to be in any, in any group. So this is kind of a new departure. We haven't seen this really, I suppose, since 9-11 uh, or um, the invasion of Iraq when we had these big, diverse groups of that sort. Hey, my name is Ali, and um, I came here because I, I feel sorry for like what's happening to the people, and um, I just want to do something about it. I am Adrian. I'm eight years old, and I'm here because about all the things that are happening right now, and the world is is not caring about a simple thing. And uh, I also happen to have a grandmother in Lebanon, and uh, we don't even know what happened to her, and we're really really concerned. But she's she, she's, but there's hundreds and thousands of people there who are suffering and dying unnecessarily. Um, I'm from Poland. Um, I came here uh, three or four months ago, and. Uh, I started to, to interest it with this group actually, uh, which I met today, um, because I was looking for people uh, who aren't interested in the case of Middle East, uh, uh, who worry about the situation in Palestine, in Lebanon. I cannot, I cannot watch, for example, news. I cannot read in newspapers about this situation, hard situation of these people, and uh, I don't know, um, go by and do nothing. I think that people, especially in Europe, we can do something to change, to alter situation uh, of people in Palestine, if people in, uh, of people in Lebanon. Uh, some of us are going to negotiate a route with the police. Now they're taking it very seriously and uh, I think they're going to try and get us to go the route that they want because there are going to be four of them, including a chief inspector, two police officers and somebody from the council, from Edinburgh City Council. And what usually happens at these meetings, they, they try and corral us away from the city centre. Uh, this time of year in Edinburgh is an international festival. It's the biggest arts festival in the world, so the international media will be here in numbers. Hundreds of thousands of people come into the city from all over the world. So it's going to be a bit of a battle. We know where we want to march. We want to be smack bang in the city centre. They will do their utmost to take us away from the city centre. And if we're at loggerheads, we are prepared to say we will do it anyway. And we'll have a confrontation on the day. The police did not allow us to film during the meeting. So I waited for the result outside. got everything we asked for, plus the closing off of the mound, yeah. the whole of the mound, for the whole of the afternoon for our demonstration. The only thing they didn't let us was we wanted to uh, stage a burning of a US flag <laughs> beside the consulate, <laughs> and uh, they said no, but you know, we'll leave that open for the spontaneity on the day. Get ready for the, the big march tomorrow, this is the big one, and I'm just getting my Lebanese flag all set up <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm curious to know how many people actually turn up for this march tomorrow because